Welcome, students, to this week's spelling netcast. We are doing sort three prefixes, re, x, n, and d. So let's make sure you are ready with everything that you need. Make sure you have your handy dandy glue stick, your sharpened pencil, your scissors, of course, your spelling bag for your spelling words, your spelling journal, and last but not least, your spelling words. If you have forgotten them, pause the video, make your own. All right, let's get to it. First of all, as you know, we always have to cut them out. So, some of you are still forgetting to keep the top of your words. That tells you what sort it is. So, we want that glued to the top. Some of you are being very creative on how you attach the top of those, which is great. So let's get that done. Just make sure it's attached some way to your notebook. All right, I'm gonna put that aside and save it. While I cut these words, I'm going to pause the video. You may do the same. Okay, now I've got everything cut out. It's time to put it in our journal. Make sure you find your first clean page. All right, we need to apply our glue. Glue that on the top of your page. Make sure you put the date and a place for your parent's signature. Okay, let's put in our exemplars. Our exemplars are re. Now remember, they're prefixes, so we put a hyphen there to show there's a word that's going to be attached. X in and D. All right. Cut those apart. Put them in our spelling bag to use at a different time when we do another sort. Okay. So we have re, x, in, and D. Okay, many of these words that we are working with um, do not have a base word. That means they don't stand alone. Okay, but this first one we're going to look at does. So let's look at that. The word is replay. Okay, here's your prefix. Here's your base word. So R-E-P-L-A-Y, replay. R-E-P-L-A-Y, replay. All right, so now replay means to play again or play back. But some of your words you're going to work with, you can't do that literally like this one. Okay, so you need to relate the words into something else. Now, re can either mean again or back. X means out of or beyond. D means to take away. And N is revisited here in these words. Like... We're revisiting this one because we've had this one before. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but it means into or inside. Okay. So let's look at some words. We have exterior. Exterior. Now, terrier, see, it's not a base word. So X, which means out of. So it's outside. Okay. Out of or beyond. So exterior. So if I said, let's look at the exterior of the house, that would mean the outside of the house. So, E-X-T-E-R-I-O-R, E-X-T-E-R-I-O-R, all right, exterior. So, when we do these words, let's just underline the prefix, okay, let's do that. And then we could have interior, interior, okay, so interior means inside or into, so, oh, look at this. These are antonyms, interior, exterior. So we have inside and outside. So interior, I-N-T-E-R-I-O-R. I-N-T-E-R-I-O-R. And again, underline the prefix. So let's see if we can find some more words that may be antonyms. So deflate and inflate. So again, remember, D means to take away, 
In means inside or into. So if we want to inflate a balloon, we are blowing air inside the balloon. If we want to deflate, deflate the balloon, we're taking away air. All right, so let's do deflate. D-E-F-L-A-T-E. -E. D-E-F-L-A-T-E. -E. All right, nice. Underline that. Let's do inflate. I-N-F-L-A-T-E. I-N-F-L-A-T-E. Now remember, students, you need to really pay attention to the words and really pay attention to your um, patterns. Now, yeah, our patterns are the prefixes, but you also need to make sure you're paying attention to the other part of the word so you understand how to spell that. And sometimes we're not studying that pattern in that word, but you need to really pay attention to that also, or you won't do well on your spelling assessment when we do the big one. Let's do one more. Well, inhale and exhale. Okay, I'm going to let you do these. We're just going to talk about it. So inhale means into, right? Into. And exhale means outside or out of. So you inhale air or exhale air. All right, here is the start to your sorts. Make sure you finish the rest of these. Remember to read the word out loud, spell the word, and then write it under the correct exemplar. Students, please make sure you are writing neatly so we can read it. Make sure you get your title on there, your date, your parent's signature. All right, there you go. Good luck. Get it done. See you at school.